So in this short video we're going to download and install both Terraform and the OCI Terraform provider. So next we need to create a Bastion server or a Bastion instance in a public subnet. So if you were looking at the previous video, I already created this. So if we go to Compute Instances, we can see a Bastion host in a public subnet. And so we can obviously connect to this with Putty using the public IP and OPC is the default username. So this instance resides in a VCN or virtual cloud network and I've already created that but you can view that from the left hand navigation bar in the console just go to networking and VCNs. It's really easy to set one a VCN up so just hit create VCN and you can give it a name and you can create a VCN with all the related resources which is sort of automated and uh, sort of straightforward approach or you can create one VCN only and then add in the subnets and internet gateway for example and the route tables manually. One key feature that's in limited availability at the moment but will be released shortly in a few months is the, the regional uh, subnets feature which is a really powerful new feature. So if you want to create a new subnet now, you have the option of setting it to regional. So this can override an entire region, not just an availability domain or a data center. So the subnet it spans the entire region. So this is really powerful and it allows you to move secondary private IPs across data centers within a region. So it's much easier to implement HA solutions. So local subnets will continue to work as they were before. So this will be an option in the console. And again, it is limited availability, but I believe you can get your tenancy whitelisted if you wanted to test it out before it goes generally available in a few months time. So back on our instances page, this is an Oracle Linux 7.6 instance, and we're gonna install Terraform on this instance. So we'll connect to the public IP with Putty. And so the next step is to gather some OSIDs or Oracle Cloud IDs. So to configure the likes of Terraform, you need the tenancy OSID, which you can find here, copy it. You also need the user um, OSID. You can get under you get that under user settings. And you also need the compartment OSID, so that's un available under identity and compartments, and then scroll to the relevant one. In this case, it's JM Green. So in order, uh, in order to install Terraform, we just need to download a script with this curl command. So next to run this script, we just need to clear the screen and then the command is bash. And so it'll give you confirmation in the output. So you need to upload this public key to the console. So copy this key and on our console under user settings, need to add the public key here. So once that's done, the fingerprint should correspond with the, the fingerprint in our terminal. So you can see it matches there. So back in the terminal, um, just change directory to Terraform test. And from here, we need to edit the environmental variables file. So it's vi, env. And we need to enter in our OSIDs that we saved earlier. So that's our tenancy OSID, our user OSID, and the compartment OSID. Everything else remains the same. We can leave the defaults there. So when you're done with that, hit escape and then WQ to write and to quit and to save it. The region in this case is Phoenix, so just make sure you have that correct. So clear the screen again. And so from here, we need to source the env virus file. And if we do an export command next and pipe that into the grep command for tf. We should see a familiar OSIDs for the compartment 
her fingerprint, everything we've done previously. So next we can run Terraform and test if it, the setup was successful. So just clear the screen and we can run Terraform in it. It looks good, so next command is Terraform plan. And finally, we'll just run a Terraform apply. So now that Terraform is installed and working correctly, we're going to create a, a web server now with Terraform. So we just clear the screen. And to do so, we're just going to clone a GitHub repository with this command. And so this repo is two folders, one for a web server and the other an OK cluster which we'll use later on so it's it's going to move it up a directory and if we change directory into it and do an ls we'll see the the files there so just cd into the web server one first and so next we need to copy the environment variables file we created earlier into this directory and you can just verify that by cutting out the file to the screen and the commands are the same again, so it's terraform init. So that command initializes. The next command will plan our, our terraform operation. So this script uh, builds out a VCN with two subnets in two different availability domains. And it cre creates two Oracle Linux instances in each of these two ADs. So we should see confirmation of this. And the next command then is apply. Prompt to center yes and have a look at the output for confirmation of success. So we can go to the console and verify this as well under the network and VCNs and also under instances. So this is setting up um, instances within this VCN in US Ashburn. And the output from Terraform is fairly useful and uh, tells you exactly what's going on. So you can scroll up here to see the status of it at every stage. So once it's done, we can have a look in the browser for the public IP. And we can see in the console both instances are fired up. So if we paste in that public IP, we should see the resultant web page. And of course, once we're finished, we need to clean up resources. So we can run the command terraform destroy. And it'll ask you for confirmation. So just hit yes at the prompt.